Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The Blissey Spotlight Turret event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details for this raid as well as the best builds to go in and farm this with in your game. So like we covered earlier in the week, the Blissey Spotlight Terror event is now back in Scarlet and Violet and it's going to be running for a short period over the coming weekend. It will be running as of recording this video from the 20th of October until the 22nd over this weekend. Of course, it goes without saying if you don't go online after the 22nd, you'll keep this raid event in your game until the next time you do go online. So if you want to farm for terror shards and level up candies, like we'll find out in a moment, you're going to have the option to do that. Of course, the Blissies are all going to be five star terror raids. They're all going to be set to level 75 and they will have a variety of different terror types when going up against them. Moves that the Blissey does carry are going to be Heal Pulse, Last Resort, Soft Boiled and Seismic Toss. It won't have any additional moves. It will have a standard rate to be shiny, of course won't have any held items or anything like that but these are going to be pretty straightforward raids for you to go in and beat the blissies most of the time they're actually going to be healing you with a heal pulse but the big thing about these raids is the item drops because they are going to give a whole host of terror shards when you go in and beat them you're going to get a variety of different type terror shards and you're also going to get the terror shards associated with the terror type that the blissey is going to be for that particular raid as well as this, you're going to get a bunch of level up candies, XL and large candies for completing them. And for the majority, the Blissies are all going to be the same throughout, except the exception of the rarer Blissies that you can come across, which are going to be the ones that give you a huge amount of Terra Shards. So you can get up to about 60 odd Terra Shards from one raid, which is just absolutely crazy. And with the Glimmering Charm on top of that, you're going to get an increased amount of Terra Shards per raid that you do. So these are all item drops. Like I say, it's one one of the best events that we've ever had for spotlights for terror shards so it's a really good event to take advantage of it's going to make changing terror types on pokemon a lot easier going forward in your game as well as being able to farm for large and xl candies so to access this in your game you're going to have to come down to your poker portal just make sure that you are online you come down to mystery gifts and then come to check poker portal news this will connect you to the internet this will update all of your dens in your game and then when you come onto your map you'll be able to see these spotlight terror raids that are appearing in and around the Paldea region. Now they aren't appearing in Kitakami, so it is locked just to Paldea for this event, but that's fine. So you can just locate whichever one you want and head over to where it is. So once you found the raid, you can go into it and I'll show you one of the best builds that I think personally that you can take in to beat this Blissey. Of course, we have covered this raid event when it's dropped previously. So if you wanna check those out for the builds that we featured in those videos, it is very similar to this one. Uh, you can check those out in the description of course this build will be down in the description as well if you want to take a further look at it after the video uh, the best build that i think will go in and form this very quickly is going to be ursa luna of course you can use ursa ring as well it's not going to be as powerful but just as effective uh, we've got the flame orb as the held item on here ursa luna going to be level 100 and the terror type is going to be normal of course the terror type doesn't really matter too much because you're not really going to be getting the chance to terrestrialize in these raid bosses Moveset is going to be Belly Drum, Headlong Rush, Crunch and Facade and the EV spread is going to be 252 HP and 252 Attack EVs with an Adamant Nature and the ability is going to be Guts. That's the important thing to make sure it combines well with that Flame Orb to self burn yourself. Now once you've found the raid it's going to be super straightforward to go in and you're going to be able to do most of the Blissies that you come across in a couple of turns of course. And not going to be hard raids you're going to be able to take an array of different options into the raids it's just giving you something that's going to make it very quick if you are in the frame of mind where you want to go in and you want to farm for these items very quickly the saloon is a great option of course you don't need to cater something specifically for these raids like i say they're going to be pretty straightforward you shouldn't have too many problems with them at all for the majority of the time the blissey is going to actually be healing you up so this is just to make it a little bit quicker if you want an option of course but of course you can use anything that you like if you are going into these raids over the weekend. The first turn you're going to go for is the belly drum just to max out your attack. Uh, combining that with the flame orb which is going to burn you. Activate your guts boost as well just to expedite that attack stat a little bit more. And with the coverage options that you've got on the Ursa Luna you're going to be able to hit every single terror type that you come across very effectively in the game. The sword is going to be the option that we're going to use against most things other than ghost and steel types. And you can see the damage that you do here. We just missed a knockout there from the Blissey. 
Um, but not to worry because we'll be able to pick it up the next turn. So literally like three turns at most with the Ursaluna most of the time. Um, so yeah, and you can see the Blissey, it's going to even do us a favor by healing us up. So you're in no danger of ever getting knocked out uh, at all in these Blissey raids. But one more facade will be enough and we'll be able to see what the item drops are for these Blissies. And this is why I say it's probably one of the best builds to take in to these raids because it's just going to be able to do them that bit quicker than most other things uh, that the Blissies obviously can take a little bit longer. But once you've beat it, you'll be able to see the item drops and you'll uh, you'll be able to reap all of the rewards of these Terra Shards that we do get. Steel, Fairy, Dragon and then all of the XL and large candies, which are hugely important and make it very easy. And also with the glimmering charm, you can see at the bottom, we've got that 10 fairy terror shots. So that does combine with these raids as well. So you're going to get additional 10 terror shots every time you complete one of these raids, which is going to be tied to the type of the raid boss that you're going up against. So fairy for fairy and whatever other terror type you go in, you'll get that bonus 10 if you've got the glimmering charm. And to get the glimmering charm, you just need to complete the Kitakami Pokedex in the DLC part one, and you'll be able to uh, pick that up from Jack after completing the decks. And then the next thing to do is just find the next one, head over to it, and then farm away from there just to rack up all of these really good items that you can get access to over the weekend while this event is running. So friends, that is everything for today's video. A very quick one today with an example of a best build. It's gonna make it a bit quicker for you. Of course, like I've said throughout the video, you can use pretty much whatever you want going into this raid this weekend. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Definitely take advantage of it while it's running. It's going to make it a very good event for getting items ready for the Indigo Disc, which is DLC Part 2, which will be coming out very soon. So make sure that you've got enough items ready for you to do all the leveling up and changing terror types and things like that with all of the new Pokemon that will be introduced with that when it does drop. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.